Hello and welcome to another little session of Getting Creative With, uh, the show where AADL staff gets creative with an arbitrarily chosen theme in order to stay playful, stay inspired, and maybe try something new. Um, my name is Ksenia. With me today, I have Christopher, Nancy, Beth, and Heidi. And this week's theme is socks, you guys, the unsung hero of our everyday lives. Without them, our feet would be colder, we would have way more blisters, and we would have less puppets, probably. So let's kick it off, you know? Um, Heidi, you are up. All right. Hey. So I had lots of ideas, but I didn't have as many socks to do some of the ideas that I wanted. Um, so someday, because I mean, there's like, there's just so many cool things to do. I, one day I'm going to make a jump rope out of socks. So Ooh, you've inspired that. <laughs> and I'll be really fit because I'll have a jump rope. But anyway, uh, so what I did is, sorry, there's a loud truck going by. I made uh, some arm warmers oh. and I, or fingerless gloves as, yeah. as, it, as it is or was. So yeah, that's what I did. I, so I sewed in between um, and then I clipped, I snipped it after I sewed it. So I kind of, you know, I had to figure out how wide to make the holes. And then I kind of did some stitching around the thumb as well. So I like those, but then there was another technique I saw where you just um, cut uh, in the heel of the, of the sock. So, and it makes it nice and long. So it goes all the way down to my elbow. So that's really cool. And I just didn't bother doing any sewing on it. Cause I thought this one's a little bit looser that way, a little freer. So I have two arm warmers now. <laughs> nice. I love the rainbow. It's very pretty. I do like, it. Oh. yeah, I don't really care for this. Like it's like a three leaf clover, which I'm like, eh, but whatever. <laughs> I'm there already. I don't know why I had to mention that, but I was just like, that's the only thing that bothered me about these, but yeah. So. There you so go. do you have an outfit picked out around your new arm warmers now? <laughs> you know, I don't, but I do tend to wear a lot of black. So um, it will go very well with all of that, I think. So especially yeah. the, especially these, because I have like a lot of gray skirts and dresses. And so I think these will go really well with that. But then again, but more importantly, do you have a burn barrel in your front yard that you can uh, be burning things all winter and be out there? <laughs> Um, the fire. I, don't, I don't have a burn barrel anymore. Um, I did. I used to have one when I did a lot of pottery pit fires. That's what I used it for. But um, <laughs> no, I just. <laughs> but uh, maybe I need to get one, I guess. <laughs> Hadn't really thought about that. <laughs> I like that just... idea for knee socks because most of my socks were short. But mm -hmm. yeah, I could see doing that. Just yeah. Yeah. And I could do it. I could do the no-sew ones. Well, you know, and you could also, like, if you had a bunch of socks that are small, you could uh, cut them and sew them together, you know, to make, uh, like, a banded arm warmer. Mm -hmm. A little more work, but, you know. It still might be a cool look with the seams. Yeah. Oh, it is. Yeah. There's um, an artist I like named Catwise, and she uses old sweaters. She repurposes old sweaters that she sews into sweater jackets um, primarily and other things. Um, but she also, with the leftover scraps, makes arm warmers. And I have a pair that I have no idea what I've done with them. But, but yeah, they are. They're like different colors that, like, I think she took from the sleeves and stuff. And so, yeah, it has a fun cool. effect. OK. Yeah. Right. So did you, did you hand sew the little the finger holes? Because I don't know about you guys, like if you if anyone else like sewed stuff into their socks, but my machine was just like not having it. And so I had to hand sew everything after a while because it kept on like nesting and bunching. Mm -hmm. So mm -hmm. do you just have a super cool machine or did you hand sew it? No, I, I hand sewed it. And it was like great because it was like black thread on black. And I was just like, <laughs> perfect. <laughs> like, I think there's a stitch there. I don't, you know, <laughs> let's hope. Yeah, I entirely hand sewed my project, but that was, I didn't want to pull my machine out and, and change the settings and change the needle on it. So I was like, I'll just hand sew it. It's faster. Yeah, so. Valid. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, it really didn't take very long to sew it. There's not, there's not very many stitches there. So yeah. Yeah. Cool. 
Well, yeah. awesome. For the, the incoming colder weather that we're supposedly going to get at some point in the near future. It'll happen. It will happen. <laughs> it, will. it will. I'm still getting used to it. I'm still like kind of brushing off the Florida off of me, you know, and I'm, I still like can't believe it that it's going to happen. Awesome. You know. Yeah. Um, sweet. All, All right. right. Um, Brett, I, I made two. Well, you did too. I, I can proudly show my little... Do you see? Okay, so this is a three-eyed little monster. Black monster. It, yeah. Can you see okay? Yeah. Yeah. And <laughs> I did, I hand sewed um, the the mouth. You see the mouth? It's kind of a weird Yeah. Thing. Yeah. Like a pucker mouth. And then an extra little eye. Oh, uh, oh I like his eyes. <laughs> He's so cute. <laughs> Thank you. So there's that one. Um, again, I'll turn. Yeah, you can see. I love that you use toe socks. Mm -hmm. I've had toe socks in ages. These were my daughter's, and I finally realized, like, I'm not wearing them, so yeah, I can. But okay, then I made a nanopus, which was supposed to be an octopus, but oh. I. Oh, no. How do you even not cut the right amount of? But anyway, that's my little octopus person. I mean, not person. Can you see? He's so cute. Yeah. Yes, you can see. Okay. Octopus. He's so octopus. cute. There we go. Him. There's a lot of sock crafts out there. Yeah. I get an overwhelming amount. <laughs> mm -hmm. Thank you for um, for humoring me. <laughs> well, I'm thinking about you. Those toe socks would make uh, finger, like, instead right. of having to sew all the little fingers, all, you could just snip it and you'd have fingerless glove right there. Yeah, I, I still have one. And actually, I, I was going to mention, as I said I would, that when I heard that that Heidi and Nancy were going to be on this, uh, this segment with me, the craftiest people. Um, <laughs> you know I, I think I... I I fared pretty well so far. I you did great. <laughs> <laughs> um, I think you did. <laughs> I've been watching, like I said, I've been watching previous episodes of this, and I was like, oh, man, I can't keep up. Like, my craft isn't that inspired or creative compared to what I've been seeing. So okay, well, it's great. <laughs> We're this all just now a competition. This is self now what we are. <laughs> Original, so that I, I, yeah, I had a hard time coming up with something original. So, oh man, okay. So, does your octopus and does your little three-eyed monster have names? Not yet, but um, I am open for suggestions. Hmm. Uh, hmm. This one, I'll have to think about. I've been looking at them for a couple weeks now. I, I was, I was prepared, and so King Gilbert. What's that? Making Filbert with an F. Oh, Filbert. <laughs> yeah. Like the hazelnut. Yeah. Works for me. Filbert. For some reason, I was thinking Chet. I don't know why. Like this. He needs a very distinguished name. He's a very distinguished gentleman. So. Okay. He looks polite. The, the glove monster. Oh. Um, the octopus looks a little more, a little more fun-loving. Yeah. Yeah. Maybe a flower name. All right, enough about that. But thank you. <laughs> thanks for thanks for really for humoring me and all that. I might keep them. They're keep so them. cute, absolutely. Cute. <laughs> um. All right, Christopher, socks. What do you have? Well, <clears throat> uh, like lots of people, we're all at home and working from home, and so we're very slowly trying to get organized over here. So I uh, found a sock. I found two socks, and thank goodness because I screwed the first one up. Oh, I made no. a a pencil holder, and I put a zipper in it, oh, and cool. so it zips up, and I keep my favorite colored pencils in there. And oh. I was happiest with the seam because when it's zipped up, you can barely see the seam there. And uh, so anyway, I, and I had never worked with a zipper. I didn't even know you could buy just zippers waiting to be used. Okay. So, so it was, it, it was a lot of fun. 
And now I have a little uh, sock full of my favorite colored pencils. <laughs> <laughs> that was one of the things that I didn't have the right sock for was I found, um, I had growing up a little coin purse that had like a clasp on it. It was a really tiny little sock for coins and I was going to make a bigger <laughs> one. But um, all my socks were, the ones that I wanted to get rid of were all knee socks. You can't make a right. coin purse on a knee sock. It would be, be too big. So. You can't shelf right? that one for later. <laughs> That's cute. Where do you get those little coin things? Can you just buy those? The little clasps, yeah. That's yeah. um. I think the craft stores around here, Joints and Michaels, have them. Um, and then you can buy them online too, at like almost every website. They're uh, called uh, Kiss Clasp Purse Frames. What they're called? Clasp Purse Frames. It's right. almost a tongue twister. <laughs> <laughs> Well, I'm I'm very impressed with your craftsmanship on that, Christopher. With that zipper, is like that's beautiful. Yeah. That scene you, you for, made for Thanks. your first track with zipper, it looks amazing. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I'm, I'm blown away by that. Thanks. It it was fun, and you know, like all of the get creative projects, it's been just really fun to learn what's mm -hmm. even what you can buy, how to use things, and uh, you know how to put things together. So. It was fun. Cool. I just cool. love that it's your designated little bag, your pouch for your favorite colored pencils. Mm -hmm. It is. <laughs> it's, uh, they're all super big. They're Furby brand. <laughs> like, I don't know if like, you can, no, you can't really see it. Like, 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 a little, like, like, like the toy Furby? Furby? Um, <laughs> I don't know. I, I think they're like Rudolf Steiner pencils or something oh, goofy. Okay. <laughs> yeah. I was going to say Furby made colored pencils and I didn't know. <laughs> I need, I need those. <laughs> walk in the middle of the night and never stop. <laughs> oh my god. Hallmark of Furby. So cool. Wow. Thank you for that. And yeah, zippers I can sure. relate. Our, <clears throat> I think the first zipper I ever did was on a little pouch as well. It wasn't a sock. It was a pouch and it came out the wobbliest, wrinkliest, most pouch ever. Yeah. So. Super cool. I just shot a video on sewing machine maintenance and fixing troubles and I couldn't jam it unless until I did a zipper. And then I jammed the machine on a zipper. So that was got to film that, which was nice. great. But. That is one I'm gonna have to watch because I am I am terrible with my machine. <laughs> Um, I'm not gonna a request for it, so it's coming yes. soon. I promise. I just finished it today. So nice. Well, Nancy, what do you have for us this week? So I did two projects as well. Um, that I I had the same problem that Heidi did. All the projects that I wanted to do, I didn't have the right socks for, so I had to uh, alter what I was doing. The first one that I did is a, a project I wanted to do during quarantine. Was I needed a new wrist condition and he's a mushroom oh it's kind of hard to see but he's got an elastic band on him so he goes around my wrist and he's got a little face with a little smile mm -hmm. and um there's a piece of plastic in the bottom so like i'm a little exuberant with my pinning so i didn't want to like stab myself <laughs> with a pin so i made sure to put a couple pieces of plastic down there but he came out great i sewed on his little eyes and his spots Okay. And then this only took a small amount of fabric from one of the socks. So I didn't, I needed to do something with the rest of the socks. So I made a sloth. Oh, look at you. Oh, oh my Very God. Soft. That's Very one soft. sock? That's one knee sock. <laughs> wow. Well, it's actually the, the legs are one oh, and then the body and the legs is another. But there was a small gotcha. piece that I used for this so I could use the rest for him. But he's got his little claws, oh, oh, Nancy. his little paws, and he's gonna get some Velcro on his paws. I was finishing sewing him right before we started the recording. <laughs> <laughs> it's kind of very last minute, but I like his cute little face. Oh my gosh, it's cute. very happy with him. And this this was a tutorial that I found online. The pin cushion was an original project, but he's supposed to hang. So I'll send Ksenia the link for the for the tutorial that I used, but there are lots and lots of sloth sock projects. This one was big for me because I was never able to do a sock monkey growing up. 
Um, oh, it just didn't make sense to me for some reason. So uh, <laughs> that was, I always wanted a sock monkey, so I made myself a sock sloth instead. <laughs> Even better. So did you, beautiful. Did you like embroider his little face or uh, is it drawn? Um, their little, their faces are felt. Mm -hmm. And then I sewed the felt on. Mm -hmm. um, and then the dots on the mushroom's eyes are just embroidery floss. Um, it's a French knot just for their eyes. And then I cut out the different colors of felt and uh, sewed those on. So like I sewed the face together first and then sewed it on to, um, onto his face. Yeah. I have new friends. Got to make sure that my cat doesn't get them because she will, it will not be a good day. <laughs> She's very aggressive with toys. <laughs> But yeah, those were my projects. So, oh, I I love that you thought to put plastic at the bottom of your pin cushion because yeah, I can really yeah. just like, stab stuff. That's I had a pin cushion that I bought at one point, a wrist pin cushion, and um, it did not have anything in it. And I learned very quickly that that's not a gr that's a design flaw. <laughs> that was very bad. Um, so he's. He's, he turned out a little puffier than I wanted him to, and he doesn't quite look like a mushroom, but I know that he's a mushroom, and that's all that matters. So. That's true. I'm very happy with him. He turned out super cute. Very cute. I'm just curious, what kind of plastic did you put in? Just like a plastic? Um, I think the plastic might have actually been from like a clamshell package, some like, oh. so like a package from like a USB drive or um, a blister pack. Okay. So like the thick, clear plastic that, um, it's really hard to cut into. It's like the, the edges are crimped. That's I used a hard plastic for that. Yeah, the stuff, the stuff they package scissors in, right? Yes, exactly. Yeah, it's it's hilarious to me. Yeah, because you're going to ruin your scissors trying to get them open. It's a good okay. thing you bought new scissors. <laughs> yeah. Have you used him yet? I did while I was making the sloth. Mm -hmm. So I used him as a pincushion while I was finishing. Um, my sloth, but I also have, I make a lot of pin cushions because I think they're fun and they're cute. And as a sewer, I can never have enough pin cushions. Mm -hmm. um, so he's like number seven in a collection of pin cushions. So oh, yeah. with more planned, because that was, I found a ton of cute patterns and I was like, well, I'm just going to do all of these because they're adorable. So. <laughs> I just like want to see them all lined up. I think that will be so cute. <laughs> I should I should do that and post a picture at some point. I have three teacup pin cushions. <laughs> I should really take pictures of those ones. <laughs> oh, so cute. Um, so as is my custom, um, do they have names? I have to ask. <laughs> they don't have names yet. I'm not sure that I'm going to keep the sloth. I have some cousins and some family members that are having babies soon. So I was thinking that this could maybe be um, a gift for one of them or get adopted by one of my cousins. So um, when I finish him, I was going to talk to family and see, see who wants to adopt him, give him a good home. Very but the pin cushion is mine. I haven't figured out his name yet, <laughs> but he'll get there. <laughs> Sweet. Oh, thank you so much, Nancy. Yeah. I hate this super inspiring to me. Oh, the sock. Yeah. Um, well, Nancy, like you, I never made a sock monkey when I was growing up either. And I really wanted to make something that it wasn't going to be a monkey because the, the socks that I have are, you know, they're not, they're not really, they don't say monkey when you look at the socks mm -hmm. that I have. And I have a lot of single socks because I run a lot. I wear through them very quickly. We lose them in the laundry. I don't know where they go. And one day I might find them somewhere, but I'll let's say I have a box full of single socks. So if anyone wants some socks, please, for, for your future crafting endeavors. So I just, I've never like made a doll before. So I just sort of, um, I made two. And I started with this little guy right here. And I made his little little legs and Aww. and I just so, stuffed him and I sewed in some seams, hand sewed some seams in just to do lazy arms basically. Mm -hmm. um, and this is like the first iteration. I was like, okay, I kind of get the construction. I thought, well, how can I improve upon this? Because I really like things that I'm able to maneuver and move around and things are customizable. So I um, made what I think is going to be like a little elf on the shelf type doll eventually. So here's my little Christmas, my little Christmas elf, um, entirely oh, in socks. 
Um, I can position his arms any which way I'd like, which is super fun. Oh, I think. Oh my gosh. Third iteration is going to be a little doll with joints because I love mm -hmm. the look and the versatility of miniature sewing. I also think it's very calming to do little miniatures like this. But um, yeah, this is my little my little sock dude. He just sort of sits on the shelf next to me now, and I actually also want to add some Velcro on his hands just like to see if I can hang him up somewhere. Um, French knot eyes and a little little sock and um you know, sweater and beanie so there he is he's so cute what did you use for his arms the rest of the sock <laughs> well no i mean like what for the joint is yeah so all, I, all, all i did i was like well this is because i didn't have like buttons or anything like that on me at the moment and i i figured well what is gonna be kind of robust so i just used nylon yarn and i literally just like threaded through his whole body and oh, okay. So now he has like a little skeletal structure <laughs> in his little oh, chest nice. where his arms are moving around. So there he is. I think I might want to make him another sweater. Mm -hmm. I think it'll be fun to make him hats and sweaters as the seasons change. Um, just he needs a sweater for every holiday. I agree. And he's, you can't pin him as like, just like a Christmas sock. You know, he's, he's too expressive for that. That's true. So what's his name though? He doesn't have one. <laughs> he doesn't have one yet. I don't know yet. Okay. He doesn't. He doesn't look distinguished enough to be like a Reginald or anything. But <clears throat> I don't know. Suggestions? Did you just use polyfill inside? Oh, yeah, cool. I did. Oh. I did. Yeah, Phil. Maybe Phil. <laughs> hey, that's a good one. Um. Yeah. So I have polyfill from an old project, and also my dog here um likes to take out polyfill from his stuffies so i may have stolen some from his little <laughs> poured up lamb chop toy <laughs> oh okay. i still don't understand how you got the arms to be so stiff and poseable mm -hmm. yeah so i cut out the arm template um and uh, you know inside out and i turned them right side in stuffed them pretty tightly with the polyfill and then i sewed them closed and I lined them up where I wanted his little shoulders to be. And yep. I just threaded an, um, an embroidery needle through his entire body after I stuffed his body. So it just, the, the needle just went through one arm, through his torso, and then out the other arm. And I just kept going back and forth. So oh. the stiffness comes from the polyfill. The oh, maneuver okay. comes from his little um, threaded joints. I see. So it's not just one length of thread. It's several lengths of thread to, to give some um, kind of a ligament there or something. Yeah. Got it. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, wow. Exactly. Well, I'm intimidated by you. <clears throat> Heck. <laughs> you got, really, that was really cute. That's so amazing. Thank you. He's very sweet. Oh, you know. He's very fun. Yeah. Really good one. Socks are so I like him much better than normal elf on the shelf because I think the normal elf the, the elf on the shelf kind of scares me a little. The whole concept of like he moves at night. I don't really want him to move. I just like, you know, just hang out, be a friend. Don't scare me in the middle of the night. That would be nice. <laughs> not an Annabelle fan then. <laughs> no, definitely not. No. <laughs> that was I had a friend growing up who's uh grandparents collected porcelain dolls oh. um, and had several rooms of their home shelves along the whole all the way around on the top of the room that it just filled with dolls um, and we had a sleepover one night and my friend thought it was hilarious to uh, tell ghost stories about dolls the entire night with the dolls in the room I didn't sleep very much so it was not a not a great experience <laughs> They were very pretty. They're very, very scary in the middle of the night when you're six, like seven years old. And yeah. you're yeah, fun, so. <laughs> oh my gosh. Well, Phil, Phil will have to be a friendly elf on the shelf. One yes. without, you know, with just the right amount of mischief because, you know. I trust him. Yeah. Good, good, good. <laughs> <laughs> All right, you guys. Well, thank you, as always, um, for coming up with such cool projects and for playing and for just being involved with this whole, uh, with the show. Um, 
you keep me inspired and really creative and on my toes. And I always love seeing you every week. So thank you. Thank you. Thank you again, Christopher and Nancy. Heidi. You. <laughs> you all inspire me a lot. I mean, and really get me out of my comfort zone. Like I had a needle and thread in my hands and everything. <laughs> That sounded right dangerous. <laughs> I was doing it. I was stitching. I was really, it felt really like, look at me. I'm sewing. <laughs> That's awesome. <laughs> anyway, yeah. Cool. Well, next week's theme is buttons for those of you who are involved. And um, if not, then you'll just have to wait for the premiere. <laughs> All right, you guys. Take care. Have such a wonderful afternoon. And thank you, you too. Thanks, Sonia. Yeah.